Hi, this is Dr. Ben Morrill with episode 16 of Reptile Genetics Weekly. Welcome. And uh, we're in the summer now. We're in the baby season. Lots and lots of, I see lots of cool posts of babies people are hatching out. It's exciting. And uh, definitely getting lots more sheds coming in, lots more orders. We are very, very thankful for that. Uh, we got to send out lots of results this last week. Um, and it, like we mentioned before, and we've said lots and messages to people, it was by far the largest run that we've done. And we learned some things, some things failed on us. And so anyway, we're going to be faster and, and better from now on, now that we've gone through that. Um, we're still a new company, still growing very quickly and, and learning every every month that goes by. And at each run we do, we're learning a lot and, and uh, figuring out how to be more efficient and fast. And so thank you once again for your patience. And for those of you that had samples that failed on this run, um, I already am starting another one. And so we should have results. Well, I'm hoping this one won't be as big of a run since we're doing it really fast. We're essentially turning around immediately just a week behind and doing another run. Um, so there won't be as big. So hopefully we won't have any difficulties this time. Um, but we should have results Wednesday, Thursday, next week, hopefully Friday at the latest. So, so that will be, and I'm, we're recording this on a Friday. So I guess when you watch this on Monday, uh, it should be just a couple days later that we'll start having results roll out um, by Friday, the end of that week. So, so more results are coming quick and, uh, We'll, uh, I think we will have some live results uh, where we give results to breeders live. Uh, we'll probably do that some next week as well as more results come out. So that'll be fun. All right, Kayla, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Sorry, I, uh, I was trying to use a different um, set of buttons to like unmute myself and make that more efficient. And so then I was like, oh, wait brief pause hi anyway i'm good <laughs> <laughs> and yes it's baby season it is so exciting um yeah. and I know you, have I, some, you have some maybe babies i do have some maybe babies i even made a little thing for it asters maybe babies here let me uh let me get this pulled up here so this is my uh my arctic lavender with some other heads uh potential heads aster um aka aster the purple sass master she is <laughs> beautiful and last week, uh, she was looking kind of gravid. This would be not only uh, her first clutch, but also my first clutch of any species. So I was super excited. And um, then uh, probably like the day after I took this photo, uh, she just had took two massive poops. And now <laughs> I just don't know if she's going to grab it at all anyway. So who yeah. knows? Granted, it's a late season clutch anyway. Um, so, you know, I've, and she wasn't brumated last year, uh, so I'm I won't be too offended if she wants to take extra time. But she's mm -hmm. a big girl, and um, you know, if we get some uh, some master babies, that'd be great. But if not, no harm done. <laughs> she's pretty. She is so pretty. I love her, and uh, impossible to get a photo of. So I was happy to get these at least. So, um, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Uh, so what else has been going on? I understand you found an interesting post on Facebook, um, yes. regarding some not desert ghost, desert ghost looking things, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a cool post. There is a, a couple of samples in this last run that, that explained on, on the bag. It said that they were, you know, imports. I think they're from an import that looked like a desert ghost, but it was a new, you know, it's potentially a new bloodline of desert ghost or could potentially be something totally different um, that just looks similar. Um, but they both tested negative for desert ghost that for desert ghost A, desert ghost B. So, so this is a cool post that Shane and how, how did you say the last name again? Uh, I think it was uh Mulderig, Mulderig or Mulderig, but I think sorry, I think it's sorry Shane, if we're not saying it right, but <laughs> please love us, Shane. <laughs> very cool, very cool animals, and yeah, I mean, if it's if it's something different, I think lace, white lace, you know, that's so far I haven't seen it obvious that it's the same as desert ghost, and obviously as breeders, breeders have seen a difference. Um, so yeah. Will be cool to see more of these be uh, produced, and you know, hopefully there'll be enough that we can do some testing and find out for sure what's going on. But yeah, definitely beautiful animals. 
yeah, no, they're they're gorgeous and really really bright too. So that's oh, yeah. fun to follow. Um, so if we if there are updates on it and we don't talk about it, like tag us, uh, either Shane or whoever else might be following this. So cool. yeah, cool, yeah. cool. Um, let's see. So we have Ben. What do you what have you had going on in your in your collection during baby season? We got some quivered eggs this last week. I got some from an albino girl. And I looked up kind of to see when we had eggs coming from the, the Honduran milk snakes last year. So this is a girl that we put a picture up of last year. Mm -hmm. And she just had her pre-lay shed, which with Hondurans, it's about five days later they lay. And she just had it yesterday. And when I looked up the picture from last year, it said August or uh, September, July 26th. So, so she's yeah. on track to lay a, another clutch pretty much almost to the day. It would probably be within two days of when she did last year. What a girl. So that's Very good cool. timing. So awesome. yeah, this, this is one of the babies from last year. So they're so extreme, cute. extreme hypo Hondurans, very cool animals. So we do have some still available from last year and we'll have a whole bunch uh, that we'll be hatching out here yeah. in a couple months. But yeah, the, the, breeding business that I have is reptile genetic services. And because back when I made that name, I didn't know if the DNA business and the breeding business were going to be the same business. And so I gave it a name that could kind of work for either. Yeah. There <laughs> so you go. it's similar, but, but yeah, there's our, our logo and name for the, the breeding business. And so if you're interested in any Hondurans, uh, especially hypos, and we do have a ghost male from last year still, but yeah. So is this girl going to have like those grayish bands or are those so going to grow to be like kind of a pewter um, like the mama, mama has? They could, um, they could, but sometimes they don't. So <laughs> I, I think at least for me, I haven't been able to tell from the babies, the people that have done more hunter and breeding will know better than me, but it wow. seems like it's hard to know for sure as a baby. Yeah, I think let us know in the comments if, uh, if there are any uh, people who work with Hondurans at all. I think some people call these like ultra extremes when they have more of that pewtery look, but, but yeah, I'm, I'm still cool. learning that. I've only been breeding Hondurans. This is the third year I've had babies. Yeah. I mean, they're gorgeous. Um, let's see. We've got, you said you had a partho clutch, right? Yeah. So these came from a, well, and I'm pretty sure they're both female. First of all, mm -hmm. second of all, the, the mother that laid this clutch, she's an orange dream cinnamon het genetic stripe. And the main male that we bred her to was, uh, orange dream pastel clown het pied. So we were making potentially making some triple heads and, mm -hmm. Uh, as you can tell from these babies, that doesn't make sense. Um, nope. The only other male she was with was an acid, acid genetic stripe. Um, so that, but she, she was only with him once and we never saw him lock. And that was a long time ago. So, so I'm pretty like sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure these are partho babies. That's uh, so cool. Looks like a super cinnamon and don't know if it's genetic stripe or not. And then the other one looks like a super orange dream genetic stripe. So. Yeah, so pretty cool looking animals. Um, I'll, I'll, of course, sequence them and we'll awesome. have some sequence information from our own partho clutch. There's another couple of babies that are, look healthy that should come out of the egg. These ones just came out of the egg this morning. Yeah, they still have um, that baby sheen on them. Yeah. So. And so then cool. there's unfortunately a couple others that were really had a lot of problems with, you know, a partho clutch that happens. But it looks like yeah. the whole clutch is partho. I don't think it's a partial. I think every baby was a partho baby. Wow. Very cool. Well, you'll have to keep us updated on the, the rest of the partho clutch. That's neat. Yeah. Um, interesting. We had an episode about uh, parthogenetic animals, actually. Um, whenever that was. That was our Mother's Day episode, appropriately. Yeah. So, cool. <laughs> uh, oh, it's Cisco. Yeah. So, those of you that I think we've talked about him a couple of times and on times, one of the yeah. other podcasts I've been on, I brought up Cisco. So he's a, the, the female that he came from was a champagne het hypo, but we think since seeing more of the babies from her and uh, that he like she likely has het red azanthic also. Mm. And so we think he's an orange dream, black pastel, het red azanthic, 
um, champagne ghost. That's what we think makes him up. Um, but we're not totally sure. Um, but yeah, so we got a clutch from the same pairing and we have a short video. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. I played the video. So the video shows you the clutch. It's yeah. a small clutch, but pretty cool. So one of them, uh, the, the male is an orange dream Anchi black pastel hypo. And so all of these got black pastel, except for the one bright one, that one got Enchi. So that's a champagne Enchi. And I think it's a het hypo. And then the one there with the with the uh, patch, we have another picture that kind of shows. Yeah. Here, let me uh, throw up that other picture here. There we go. Yeah, so you can see the one with the patch. So that one's a het, het hypo. And then the one on the left is a hypo. So I think those two are the same as Cisco, but they don't have Orange Dream because we got a sister in the same clutches as Cisco that, that looks very much like these two. And I'm pretty sure the only difference is Orange Dream. Yeah, I mean, just looking at them, like if they did have uh, OD in there, you know, they yeah. these girls would probably look like moldy cheese, just like Cisco does. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then obviously the one on the left has hypo, so that's the most like Cisco. And the one on the right is mm -hmm. missing OD and then is a het hypo instead of a hypo. But yeah. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty fun clutch. And next week, we actually hatched out a clutch from Cisco, our first clutch from Cisco. Oh yeah. And they're in shed right now. So next week we'll we'll be able to show them post shed. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So, so we'll see if we're able to be able to make some more Cisco's. That would be awesome. I'd love I'd love to see little I I want to hold a handful of little Cisco's. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and then this next clutch, this is one that I'm gonna be sequencing, uh doing tests on at least the clowns in this clutch, probably all of them. Yeah. So this was a, a clutch from a male that was a clown that was het for both DGA and DGB. So it was sold to us as a clown het desert ghost. And when I tested him, he was het for DGA and DGB. So so all of these animals should be, well, all of them could be either het for A, het for B, or het for both. And then some of them will be, you know, not het at all. So yeah. So we'll be able to find out which of these I'm hoping. There's a couple there that look like they're pastel enchi clowns that are are hopefully het for A, B, or both that mm -hmm. uh, will likely stay here, whether they're males or females. So, yeah, no, they look really, really cool. Um, uh, you know, like we did a spread of like Canova's different, uh, like hets and homozygous DGs based on like what they were rocking. So maybe we can do something similar with these if you guys are into that. Um, yeah. just to see some comparisons um yeah. but yeah they look real cool um and I, I guess that's all we have for uh uh for our, our pictures anyway yeah so any yeah. of you if you have babies that you're hatching out uh feel free to send pictures especially if they're ones you're planning to test and uh like we did with matt if you want to do some live results uh we certainly would love to do that i know this is the the hot time to do it it's, lots yeah. of people have babies hatching out we'll have you know many months the cold months where there's not as much to talk about but right now there's lots so so feel free to send us uh pictures videos and let us know we had many people after matt byram's video this last week where we did the the live results with him yeah uh, several people reached out and said they'd like to do that so we've we've got it noted down and and we'll be happy to do that that's that's fun for us to do and i think fun for the the breeders and hopefully people enjoy seeing some of that be able to to celebrate when it's good and maybe some of them will all have a a uh, groan of uh you know unhappiness for people that miss but mm -hmm. but yeah at least you know that's what i always say when it's the bad results so at least you know <laughs> exactly and you don't have but, yeah. to wait till the animal grows up to prove it out so it's, yep. it's good all right well Everybody make sure, well, thank you for watching and uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, um, share with your friends. Uh, tell And yeah, tell us about what you've got for uh, baby season right now, expecting, yeah. or maybe you have a situation like mine with Aster where you just don't know what's going on. So <laughs> um, yeah, thank you guys. And uh, I guess we'll see you next time. Thanks. All right, outro in three, two, one.